Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hey, have you guys have you guys seen the news about San Francisco rebranding the way they talk about um, convicted felons and drug addicts and how the, how they want to address them? It's just I think that city has had one one too many people in that town in a leadership role that's got a participation award. They have they have completely lost their freaking minds. So let me read this. This is a, a on Fox News today in the, this morning's when I, I read it. Um, <laughs> they have to be millennials. No way in hell would any sane person come up with this idea. Democrat millennials. This is who it is. This is this is who this is targeted for. So, not not to mention that the city has one of the highest crime rates in this country over the past year. This is what they decide to do. This is their the brain trust has come up with these ideas. So, they want to sanitize their language. So instead of calling them a uh, a person who's been in jail, instead of calling them a convicted felon. Or like a repeat offender, or something like that, something normal, or a criminal, which is what they are. They want to they want to call them a a justice involved person. What the freak? What the heck is that about? A justice involved person? Oh my god! So and then it gets it gets better. So not only do they have the highest crime rate, one of the highest crime rates in the country, their homeless rate is out of freaking control too. So. But this is again. This this is what they want to focus on. They want to change the language of what everybody in the city calls criminals, because it'll make them feel better. Because they're people too. So so um, there. So here we go. Here's some more. So, so we have uh, a formerly incarcerated person, justice involved person, or just returning resident. So they're getting out of jail, and now they're a returning resident. So don't worry about that guy that just moved in he's a he's just a nice returning resident he's not a convicted child rapist oh that's just too mean we have to call him a returning resident because it makes him feel better because you know doing crimes and burglaries and murdering and whatever not murder whatever whatever their crimes are now they're returning they're returning uh returning residents <laughs> i can't stop laughing a juvenile delinquent this is good is now going to be called a young person with justice system, justice system involvement or a young person impacted by the juvenile justice system. Are you so freaking convoluted? How about you just call them juvenile delinquents? Or, um, I don't know, that makes sense to me. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. So the the the, the guy who was, the there's a, what's it called? some supervisory committee or whatever and the guy who is in charge of it his name is Matt Haney he told the, this uh, newspaper in San Francisco that um, it's like a scarlet letter that they're wearing out on their bodies so they're never able to really um, get back into society normalize society again uh, okay jackass well they're convicted felons they're not supposed to just kind of come back to society as you know normal people they need to work for it they need to rehabilitate and even then that's who that's that's part of their past they made a dumb choice they can't change that and who are we to go oh we need to call you a returning resident that's the funniest one returning resident so the article also said so there's <laughs> there's the newspaper said that uh, they gave an example of, of like if someone's car got broken into that they would this is what the police would say the that they a person who uh, uh has come in con sorry let me take that back the uh, an individual whose cars got broken into the police would this is what their statement would be a person who has come in contact with a returning resident who was involved with the justice system and who is currently under supervision with a history of substance abuse because you can't call them addicts anymore you have to have history of sub substance abuse so that's that's that long sentence would describe someone's car being broken into by a drug addict felon <coughs> sorry <clears throat> allergies lack of water <clears throat> oh my god 
So that's not, that is it's ridiculous. So they have this huge sentence when they can just say, hey, my car was broken into by a, a drug addict who was a felon. <clears throat> no, they got to be called a returning resident who has a history with the, the justice system and is currently under supervision with a history of substance abuse. They've lost their minds. So instead of <clears throat> maybe taking away sanctuary city status, instead of enforcing the laws on the books, they want to change the wording <clears throat> of what we call convicted felons and drug uh, abusers and addicts and juvenile delinquents. <clears throat> that's their grand that's their grand plan. San Francisco's grand plan to reduce crime, homelessness, and the peeing and the shitting in the streets is to <clears throat> make a nice environment for <laughs> their returning residents to come back to. <laughs> I gotta be losing my mind. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. <clears throat> Anyways. Go read, go find this article. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's on Fox News. I don't know what Fox News. Fox News San Francisco, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if Fox News is allowed in San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't done it. And check out the Teespring link in the description below to get your conservative patriot gear, which will be growing every day. And always remember to stay on the right side. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.